Mr. Houston, in the last few years, how popular has league bowling become? Extremely popular. We've come to a point now where there are almost no lanes available in the whole city uh, for open bowling. We have leagues from 6.30 to 9 o'clock. Now, there are some lanes open after 9 o'clock on several nights of the week. Now, this would mean you've got a lot of new people, I would imagine, bowling for the first time. Now, when they start out, what is the most common mistake they make that you try to correct in your clinics? Well, it's a combination of uh, their timing with the, uh, the movement of the ball and the footwork. This is the, most, is the hardest thing, I think, to get coordinated, the moving of the ball and the footwork at the same time. Uh, usually, they either start the ball moving too soon or, or too late or vice versa. Consequently, when they get to the foul line, they're off balance, and uh, the ball can go in any direction in this case. Would it pay a, an occasional bowler who is not in a league, would it pay him to have his own bowling ball? Uh, I question the occasional bowler. I, I'd say this, Bill, uh, that anybody that bowls in a league regularly ought to have his own ball. But for the person who bowls uh, only occasionally, I, I, don't, I question that they'd want it. If they, if they are a regular league bowler, I say yes, very definitely would help them. One more question, now, uh, duck pin bowling, which was once quite large in Virginia about a decade ago, is, has almost died off completely in some areas. Do you think it will ever make a comeback in Rona? I don't think so. I, th I think the trouble with the duck pins is, uh, uh, in my estimation, Bill, the uh, name of the game is scoring, and in duck pins, where you have a score in the 80s and 90s and 100. People like to score, and when, especially these women, uh, getting a 200 game, uh, I think this is the attractive thing about 10-pin bowling. The scores are higher, and in my estimation, scoring is the name of the game in bowling.